What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Monster Review where we take a look at tech, tactics, and how-to videos. Today, as promised, I'm going to do a follow-up and show you how to gain remote access to your next cloud. You know, every person's setup is different, so this may or may not work for you. I'm going to explain everything that I've done to get this to work and hopefully it will work for you. Uh, you might have to tweak your network a little bit. That is a possibility. So for the first thing, if you have two routers, you're going to want to connect your next cloud server to the first router. So in my example, I have a at and modem slash router combo. And then behind that, I also have my own personal router, which is an ASIS. The at and router, my servers are connected to that router. And the reason why I do this is because if, if you have all your servers connected to the second router, uh, it's a little more complicated to open up the ports and gain access to those servers from outside of your network. Once you have your next cloud server connected to your modem slash router combo, you're gonna wanna get into your AT&T router. So once you type in the access code and you gain access to your AT&T modem slash router, uh, one thing you're gonna wanna do is, and I mentioned this briefly in the other video, the previous video, is you wanna go into home network and then IP allocation. You wanna look for your next cloud IP address. My next cloud address is 192.168.1.227. So over here, I'm gonna look for that uh, IP address and I do have it here on the very first one. And uh, I wanna allocate. So turn on allocate for your next cloud. And what this is gonna do is gonna, it's gonna lock that IP address to your next cloud server. So in case your server goes down and then comes back up, it's not gonna take a new IP address. It's gonna stay with this IP address. So essentially what you're doing is you're setting up a static IP address for this uh, next cloud server. So once you do that, the next thing you wanna do, you wanna open your ports. So click on firewall, then click on NAT slash gaming, and you wanna open up these two ports, HTTP, TCP, UDP 80, and HTTPS, TCP UDP 443. And to do it's very simple, all you do is you look for HTTP, find HTTP, and then click on needed by device and look for your next cloud server. And select that and then click on add. And then do the same thing for HTTPS. Find HTTPS, find your next cloud server, and then click add. And it's gonna open port 80 and port 443 for your next cloud server. Now, what you wanna do is you wanna look for your public IP address. And to do this very simple, you're just gonna Google search my public IP, and it's gonna pull up your public IP. Now, once you have this number, you wanna write, gonna write that number down and go to a website like no IP. Doesn't matter which website you use as long as it can um, set up DNS server for you. I like no IP. Um, the only downfall is that you do have to renew your uh, DNS name every so often. I think every month. Um, and it's very simple to do. They'll send you an email. You click on the link. Your DNS name is going to be renewed. So what you want to do is you're going to want to sign up. So just fill out all this information. And you can do free sign up. You don't have to pay. To pay uh, will will eliminate the need for you to uh, renew your DNS name. Okay, so once you create your account, just go to Dynamic DNS, no IP host name, and create host name. So you're gonna collect. You're gonna select a free domain, any one of these whichever one you want. This one is ddns.net. And so you're gonna select a host name. You're gonna create a host name for yourself. So whatever you wanna call your next cloud server, you can call it uh, NetCloud Gen. No, I don't know, just an example. And so it's gonna be nextcloudgen.ddns.net. That's, that's gonna be the domain name server for your next cloud account. And so you're just going to keep it on DNS host A. And for the IP address, you're going to put in your public IP address that you searched for. What is my IP? So 
what is my IP. If you Google search what is my IP, it's gonna, this is the address you're going to use to put into your IPv4 address. And then you're going to click on create host name. Once you create your DNS and you link it to your public IP address, you know, you know you're going to be tempted to want to copy it and you know just paste it in your web browser and see what happens. I'm going to tell you right now, it's not going to work if you're already on in your network. It's not going to work. Um, what you're going to want to do is you want to take your phone and disconnect it from your router and plug in your DNS. Type in your DNS name in your web browser on your phone and it should take you directly to your uh, next cloud server and I'm just going to show you on my phone real quick here and there you go this is my next cloud server and you can see that I'm on 4G and it works. All I have to do now is log in. And that concludes this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you found it helpful. Be sure to give me a thumbs up if you did. If you didn't find it helpful, thumbs down will work also. And uh, be sure to share this video uh, to other people you may know that can find it useful. Thanks for watching. Peace.